Did you mm. watch um, Star Wars when it came out in 1999? No, but I know that that's where you got your name from. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. Bless you. Jeez. I was in my mo- my mother's womb <laughs> when she went to... Oh, bless, bless you. you. Bless Thank you. you. Thank you. I was in my mother's room when she went to see Phantom Menace in the theaters. Damn. Yeah. You know what? I'm lying because I actually went to the movies when I was in eighth grade with a bunch of people and saw that. Yeah. But I remember not really liking it. And I remember like a few years before that, I had tried to watch the first Star Wars and just really like I didn't get into it. And that was basically like when I decided I'm just not going to watch Star Wars and I haven't tried since. They're old you movies, watch realistically. I would like to because I don't want to be left out of the it's conversation. Woke, man. It's fucking woke. You know, Is woke fun. good? Yeah. What's your definition of woke? Like awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I like that definition. Oh, this is the best. <laughs> it's really awesome, man. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> Hell yeah, I fuck with that. Uh, um, you, uh, I've heard you say before when we were hanging out, you're like, I'm a bot. He's like, mm. and, you're, and I was like, what do you mean by that? You're like, I don't know. I just, I'm just a bot. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean you're a bot, dude? <laughs> yeah. Um, sometimes I just be saying that. Like, <laughs> I feel like we all can be bots. Sometimes you feel me? We're human beings with human being like. We're not perfect type shit. No, know? that's true. But when you go around smoking weed in the in the Walmart, are you the NPC or is yeah. everyone else an NPC? Well, the joke is that like I am. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's Patrick CC kind of articulated that. You're like the random guy who's just smoking weed in the Walmart yeah. for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I love doing that shit. That shit is so fun. <laughs> Nowadays it's harder though. Nowadays it's harder kids follow me and shit. But when you're doing those videos and you're like kind of like selecting from a relatively limited uh menu of different catchphrases that kind of makes you have a little bit more of an npc vibe at that moment too because usually the npc only says so, so many, many things. things that's true yeah how do you feel about switch it up how do you feel about ai i don't know it's kind of scary huh have you seen the have you seen chat gpt Chat. No, I don't even know what that is. It's, it's basically like new AI thing, thing where you just ask it like any question and it spits out answers that are like really good. Yeah. Like, like if we were to ask, type in like, who is Fulcrum? It's probably gonna like, it's, it's gonna search the web and it's gonna search social or whatever and it's gonna give some like kind of scarily good answer of who you are. Wow, that's crazy. What's, What's even crazier is you, you can actually go there and be like, hey, uh, Make, make a make, make an, an article talking about how fulcrum influences the kids to do bad things, and it will find all this information about you and make a realistic sounding article like one of us wrote it about how you're a, a terrible menace or whatever. It can fit whatever narrative you spit at it. That's pretty crazy. You could totally, yeah, if you asked him why is fulcrum a bad guy, mm-hmm. and there was an article that was about him being a bad guy, for sure it's just gonna go off that. And that's the scary part is that it could just totally feed off misinformation, you know? Well, did you see the thing about the video game uh, thing where like basically when one of them, some dude used the, that uh, chat GPT thing, and he told it, um, make an article talking about how this game called Metroid, it, where the lead character is going in Samus. <laughs> he said, make a, uh, an article talking about how Metroid uh, um, kind of pushes sexism and, and misogyny and like all these negative things, right? A video game, just, like, just to see how it does, right? And it fucking pushed out like a two-page article bringing up all these things about how they use a female character and they sexualize her and they do these outfits and like it brought up all this information and it knows it's a female character it knows it has all these images to reference like it's kind of insane i'm gonna start a channel or maybe i'll just do my channel where i just ask the chat gpt when did blank fall off or why did so-and-so's career take a shit and it's going to give me a fucking script that's basically going to be like a Sunny V2 video. Exactly. And then I just read it into the camera. And if I get a million views, that proves that the AI is fucking here to stay, dude. That would fucking work. And you know it would work. I've been hearing about AI beats. Really? Oh, for sure. That's got to exist. No yeah. I haven't heard about it, but that makes sense. Like AI, yeah, like goddamn producers will utilize AI. Does that, that scare you? Like, like, do you think it's good, good or bad? No, I, I feel, feel like, like if you utilize it, it could be fire. Okay. In certain ways, not like the whole beat would be like generated by someone, someone else. Yeah, yeah but, but what, what is it? What do you mean? Like, you tell it a certain sound that you want? I don't know. Like, it would generate like melodies or some shit. Oh, interesting. Think, think about it. Like, an average producer, producer 
making beats, beats. It's, it's kind of like making just like a ton of different versions of like the same beat, right? Sometimes. So doesn't it kind of make sense? Because they're already like buying loops off of other people so that they have these melodies to work with and shit. So is it really so different to just tell a computer like, hey, make a, a version of this last beat i made but make it you know 30 percent different yeah 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 hell yeah or like totally makes sense fucking fuck tight beats at that point you'd be like yo ai make me a beat like this yeah exactly. same sauce different instruments that might not exist already but it's definitely coming i saw people were already utilizing i think you were talking about it with the t-shirt blanks or whatever where people would just tell it like hey man uh, make me a, a t-shirt with a trucker and a bald eagle and fire flames in the background and it looked like some blazzy type image wow. and then you just boom you just got yourself a free graphic and i was trying to think i was like thinking about this like people were scared of ai you know or robots taking other people's jobs but now i feel like designers maybe even graphic designers i know they have a name behind them and like a whole they have cr uh, credentials and all this stuff but if someone's really trying to you know pinch a penny and trying to save some money they could hit, hit ai with the you know the graphic ideas and, and dude that's what the artists are scared of exactly. is that their jobs are going to be lost to people making ai designs for their merch and flyers and shit like that and it'll be a long time before that happens though it might not be that long because if you know about all this shit you already like those apps that people uh you feed your instagram into it or whatever and you pay like eight bucks and then that's what it gives you all these like crazy custom ridiculous looking images of you that people could totally like make merch out of or whatever and that's just like a job taken away from a graphic designer the question is is like that okay or not because to these artists, they're fucking furious. And I've noticed a lot of schools are banning that chat GBT shit. Because if you're a kid, you could, <laughs> if you ask them, like, if you write into that shit, tell me about World War II. It's going to write something that's way better than what the average fucking ninth grader is going to write. And not only that, it's original. Your teacher has no way of cross-referencing with anything else to see if you've cheated or not. So you that's a really new challenge. Cheat. Yeah. That's a new challenge. The, yeah. the teachers are going to have to somehow be able to check if the shit fuck was written yeah. by AI or not. Which is that's whoa. how the fuck yeah. are they going to figure it out? When yeah. a kid, is, a kid is not a professional fucking author. Yeah, you know, they're if anything, it's like it's going to be too good, and that'll tip the teacher off. But that's kind of weird. I got in trouble in fucking tenth grade in my AP English class. I was writing an essay. It was like the summer homework assignment, but I straight up like plagiarized my homie's assignment he was in a different class though right and you got away with it no nah, I, <laughs> I uploaded it to some website and then she called me she's like i need to speak to you after class she's like hey so yeah it says here that um all these sentences are utilized in so-and-so's essay in this other's class wow in this other person's class but how the fuck did the teacher even know that because the website like taught really it's all linked together they like up, the they probably system. upload it like yeah to yeah. their system and it all. Yeah, when I was yeah, in school, yeah. I was still like literally writing things with my wow. hand <laughs> and then handing it in. So that, to me, I just realized like, oh, he's talking about like. Of course, that would be easy to do. There's probably computer programs that just like detect that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. That's, That's how it was smart. in my high school. Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. So if you want to help us out, click subscribe, get us to 500k. Yeah.